And we back. Today we're trying to build the oldest team to three P. The second oldest team to ever win a championship was the 2010-2011 Dallas Mavericks, one of my favorite championship rosters. But the oldest team to ever win a ring is the Chicago Bulls last dance run. By the time the postseason came around, 11, 11 of the Bulls rosters were over the age of 30 with the weighted age of the side just over 32 years old. Rodman was 37, Mike was 35, and they still did it. Come on, man. So my goal is to repeat, but every single season we're older than that Bulls team. I'm thinking it's gonna be harder because there, there's so much young talent. Majority of the league feels young right now. So we got to find old players that are also really, really good, good enough to stay for three years and good enough to win a championship. We're running with the Toronto Raptors, it looks like. Yes, the Toronto Raptors. On our team, we have Paul George, who is 32 years old. Yo, this roster is eerily similar to the video I did like three days ago because it had Paul George and Paolo Bancaro on it. Now, the rest is not the same, but... I mean, you know what I'm saying? It feels like the same roster. So when I'm thinking about the oldest players in basketball, older than winning 3P, come on, man. There's one name that comes to mind. It's, it's LeBron James. He's 37 years old. And if I can convince him to stay around, he's going to carry with him being how old? How old? 30, 30, 37? The fourth oldest person in basketball. And he's still in the 90 overall club. Chris Paul is also 37. So I think he plays for the Lakers right now. I think we got enough to pull off a trade for him right now. We got the Russell Westbrook contract, which is low-key kind of a negative. They still ain't upgraded Brody. Oh, they did because he was a 77. Now he's a 79. So the contracts are there. I don't want to give up Palo yet, but obviously in a video like this where our rotation, the 10 players that we play have to have an average age over uh, 32. We can't have a 19-year-old, but I low-key want to keep him around until the second trade if possible. I just don't think it's going to be possible because we're trying to trade for LeBron. Dang, we have to give up Paolo right now. That's the only way. We have to give them Paolo. What's your value? Four star, really only four star. I'm low-key kind of surprised it's that low. So we got Paolo and Russ. They say no. Here's a first. They say... <laughs> You're really about to finesse? All right, Rob. Rob Pelinka out here doing... Oh, my God. No way. Four first round picks, Paolo Bacaro. And that's still not enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, they bugging. Um, so let me try to increase our value by making some different trades like Tobias Harris and Zaire Williams in the 2027 first and get something that's going to be good enough to throw. Like, I give you Rudy Gobert. DeShante Murray might be the perfect guy. Younger, still really good. Got a couple years left of his contract. We do got 88 Pascal. That's the highest overall player that we've been offered. So we'd have Pascal, big old contract, and Russ's big old contract. I don't think they'll be able to do that. DeJounte's like the sweet spot because he's only making 16 M's. So we'll do the DeJounte Murray deal. There we go. So we throw DeJounte Murray and Russell Westbrook and uh, Marcus Smart to the Lakers for Braun and salary filler. Our picks are now less valuable because we made a trade to get us better. Oh, that sucks. Pick two, three picks. It's... Bro, why is Braun all of a sudden an untouchable piece? It's just one of those challenges where I, I can't move away from trying to get Braun. This is the perfect Braun challenge. Tyrese and Desmond Bain. If that's not enough, if those two players, those 85 plus players with Russell Westbrook's contract is not enough, look at the value I'm giving you. Actually, I'm going to try to keep one of them for a future trade. I doubt they say yes, um, but I, I'm going to try to keep one of them. We give you one pick. <laughs> they finessing me, bro. Two picks. Oh, man. And we give you Desmond Bain, bro. We'll give you Desmond Bain, bro. I. What is happening? Oh, so they really want Paul George. I did all of this. Where I could have just gave them PG. I wanted to keep PG low key. But I'll, I'll do the PG trade, bro. I just offered you. The package that I was trying to give you with Bain, Halliburton, and whatever. It's way better, way better than the, the Paul George trade. Are you kidding me? I mean, thanks, I guess. Drew Holiday seems like a must. We'll bring him onto the team for that package. Yeah, we gave up Tyrese, but we had to give up something to get something. Steph Curry, obviously, but if we couldn't even, we struggled to get LeBron, we're definitely not going to get Steph Curry. Okay, we got like Kyrie is plus 30 at this point in his career. So there's actually a, a deep, oh, DeMar DeRozan has to be on the team. He has to be. DeMar DeRozan is a sim legend. I'm going to try to go get DeMar DeRozan next. And he's making a low amount of money compared to the other people in his range. $27 million. I can I can give you Desmond Bain and, and Terry Rozier. I give you, because I can't give you Paolo yet. Paolo's saved for a future trade. 
But Desmond Bain, there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, so we about to work our way to get more first round picks like we normally do. Sign some players in free agency. I'm not playing about this. I either wanna get Steph Curry or Kevin Durant or some, like somebody in that round. All right, I'm gonna try to do Palo, Jared Allen and Drew Holiday for Steph. They say no. We got picks, baby. One first rounder, two first rounders, three. That's all. That's literally all we can fit. Um, <laughs> that's all of our picks. What if I gave you Christian Wood instead? You got to make a five million. You know you got a bad contract somewhere. Uh, Pat Connaughton, five million exact. They still say no. That's that's uh, not ideal. <sighs> I, I'm I'm telling you. One of those dudes is coming to Toronto. Oh, we got Lebronto. I just put that together. One of those dudes is coming here. And, and they're going to play for three years. And we're going to win three straight championships. And everybody's going to be excited about it. What if I gave them Darius Garland? So I'm giving you... Um, you are getting a young, up-and-coming, already proven all-star point guard. And I'm getting this old um, guy. Is my, my conversation to them. And if you want veteranship, we got you that too. And... If you want another young guard, a guy, not guard, guy, we got that too. Well, like we got to go a different direction then. Kawhi Leonard's sitting in the trade finder for this package. And I, I've come to the realization that we probably won't get Steph Curry unless we do a trade like this. So I'm going to accept it and bring in Kawhi. Then I'm going to throw Kawhi with uh, two picks and watch Steph Curry from the Cleveland Cavaliers come. Not Steph Curry of the Cleveland Cavaliers. But like all these other dudes are here, so I'm assuming that Steph Curry's gonna be there. I'm assuming that, that we could get Steph Curry with the same exact package. Hold on. All right, so I would probably just accept the trade for Kevin Durant then. Because if, if Kawhi and four first round picks don't get it done, then nothing will. Nothing else will. Do I accept the Luka trade and then throw Luka to the. I really wanna see Steph Curry and LeBron on the same team. So I'm, I'm gonna accept the Luka trade, and then I'm gonna go ask the Cavs if they want Luka. Do you, do you want Luke? The dude averages a 30-point triple-double every season. They are really tripping, huh? Or am I tripping for one and Steph Curry that much? It just feels right. I will give you this last... But this is the best off... I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. I'm spending too much time trying to figure that out. We're going to put Luka back in the trade finder with a pick or something. And we're going to find somebody old. They're offering Giannis and you won't offer... All right. Last... Legit last try. I'm going to go get Giannis... And then I'm going to throw Giannis to the Cavs. Oh my... All right, okay, okay. I'm done. He's untouchable. It's proven. Getting Kawhi back. This is what they want for Kevin, by the way. So that's that's a dead mission. So right now we got Bron, DeMar, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, and Brooke Lopez. Sneaky good pickup. Now he is a free agent this offseason. I don't know how that's going to work. But 34 years old. So that's 34, 31, 33, 33, and 37. Obviously my starting lineup fits the criteria... But now we get to the bench and we still got Jordan Poole. We got Josh Giddy. These guys are super young still. And the problem is they making no money. Like Jordan Poole's contract doesn't kick into next season. So I need to trade him basically for another player that's not making no money that is also old. But what are you going to know about these old dudes? They got their bag. Chris Paul's making $28 million still, you know? So these it's going to be harder to fill out a good, competent rotation but, I mean, luckily for us, we got playoff ridiculously great player in Kawhi. And the LeBron's one of the greatest of all time. And we got we got a lot of goodness in that starting lineup. But, like, if I throw Jordan Poole in the, in the trade finder, it's going to be just a bunch of guys that are super young. The oldest dude we got is potentially TJ Warren. Which I might have to accept. He's And he is still too young. We traded our way up for DeJounte Murray. We're, I mean, we're swapping picks that are super valuable. Kyrie Irving is now our sixth man. Yeah. Yeah, Kyrie and Bron are back together, but Kyrie's coming off the bench, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I feel good based on what the, the problem is. Now, we also got Joe Johnson on the team. And if we give him minutes, that's going to get our average age up by a bunch. So those are the things I'm thinking about. We don't need to be the deepest team in basketball as long as Joe Johnson gets at least a minute a game. We feel good. After 35 more minutes, we got a team. Of they want us to no, we're starting LeBron James. What the heck? LeBron James, DeMar DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard, and Brooke Lopez. Then Kyrie, Andre Drummond, John Wall is here, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Green and Hassan Whiteside, who's 33. So let me do my mathematics to see if this team is old enough. I swear better. And if it's not, 
then the side white side minutes are being given to Joe Johnson, who, who automatically gonna make us older. Our average age right now is 32.8, which is older than that Chicago Bulls team. Let's go beat Steph Curry in the first game of the season because they were so stingy. He gave us the work. I would love to have you on the team right now, Steph, but it is what it is. Tatum won MVP. Paolo, former Toronto Raptor, right? We had him on the team. Uh, Chris Wood, former Toronto Raptor. Giannis, former Toronto Raptor. Nick Nurse, current Toronto Raptor coach, wins coach of the year. 14 total losses on the entire season. And old man Jimmy Butler makes All-NBA over Braun, over DeMar, over all of those dudes. It was Jimmy G Buckets. He averaged 17, 6, and 7. Old man Braun. Um, his relations, he's lit right now. Y'all see that? It says he's lit. You are 38 years old now, brah. No, the, the getting lit days are over with. Like, it's over. So we are the one seed, obviously, with that record. Um, and it's a 3 P challenge. We're going against James Harden and... Ooh, Thaddeus Young is a player that could be in this challenge. We might trade for you eventually, Thaddeus. One thing we got to keep in mind is regression. By year three, all of these players are going to be so old. I know LeBron is going to tempt to try to retire. We're going to tell him no. But you can only tell a player no one different time. After that, if he retire, we got to basically reset after that. Paul George, former Toronto Raptor. We traded him away in some trade. Um, oh, and the LeBron trade, duh. So the, the LeBron trade worked out for them quite well. Wow. Here they are in the finals. That's a really competent roster they got to, right there. Is it better than ours? Game one says no. Game two also says no. Oh, great. So that's the first championship. LeBron James is still lit. Actually, LeBron, this is the one time I'm allowing you to get lit. Go go ahead and do... Okay, can I stop... That word just... Ah, it don't feel right when I say it. Dwight Howard is a player that I almost traded for. Uh, Rudy Gay and LaMarcus definitely could have been in a challenge. Anybody from our team? Danny Green, Ursa Ilyasova. We even had bench warmers that were old as ever. But none of them retire. So that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. That means we're getting a full time of LeBron. We got the number one pick. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to get Stephen Curry now. I know we just won a championship and you probably shouldn't break anything up. Bro, how did we get the first? I mean, I know we did a ton of trades. And somehow we convinced some team to, to give us their pick to end up being number one. The only way we get Steph Curry is if we trade Kawhi, I think. There's KD. And the number three pick. I mean, that feels pretty easy. We can still get number three. KD and number three. Wait, wait, what team Steph on? He on the Cavs. We're buying right now. Oh, my God. I just really want Steph Curry on the team. Is that too much to ask? He's just like the... He's making 50 M's now. So, they say no to that. We'll give you pick number one. We'll give you pick number 10. Because because we're trying to be old. So, none of these picks matter to us. And they still... a. Hey, Steph Curry has got to the level of untradeable that I've never seen before. Why? Oh, wait, well, you know what we can do? We can change Kawhi back to his normal position of small four. Let's try that again. He's a 95 overall and a small four, 93 overall as a shooting guard. So, like, or a power four, whatever the hell I had him at. So, this is a lot better. So, there's Kawhi. There is the first overall pick, which is more valuable than Kawhi. And it's the same amount of value as you, Steph. And they still are not budging. Are you serious right now? They still are not budging. You know what I'm willing to do? I'm willing to give them DeMar DeRozan as well. I was willing to give them DeMar DeRozan as well. All right? That's how much I wanted Steph Curry and LeBron on the same team. That I was willing to give up the first overall pick, the 10th overall pick, the 16th overall pick, Kawhi Leonard and DeMar DeRozan. Finesse? Absolutely. Absolutely finesse. And guess what? I won't apologize for it. Because I got Steph Curry and I got LeBron on the same roster. Even though both of them are going to get a, getting worse. I don't care. That was my number one goal going into this video. Was to pair those two up. And I stopped at, no, at, at nothing to make that happen. So, shout out to, to him. Now I can re-sign Kyrie, hopefully. Who's got eight offers. None of them good. I can re-sign Kyrie. And then trade Kyrie for somebody else. Trade up for Anthony Davis is kind of, kind of decent. We'll do the Kyrie and Anthony Davis trade. Now we can move Brooke Lopez over, or we can move Anthony Davis over to the four. Start Brooke Lopez. We got Marcus Smart, who I'll probably have to flip just because he is a little bit too young. Especially if we considering Anthony Davis being a little bit younger than average. My worst nightmare. Here it is. Oh my God. 
Look at all of the red arrows. This is this is terrible. Okay. All right. Well, we knew that. We knew that. That was part of the challenge. Being able to sustain the drop. That was a lot. That was a lot of red arrows. Okay. No big deal. We are probably moving Marcus Smart and this young dude because he's too young to go get somebody older that, yeah, like I could do this trade. Both of them are 30, but we'd be giving up a 37 year old. I don't know if I want to do that. We will. We'll do it. Okay. So right now our team looks like not, not like this. Definitely not like this. Hold on. Let's let's figure this out. So Curry, Butler, Braun, AD. They want to start Cousins over Brook Lopez. I can't do that. Even though Boogie and AD together, when they was together, it was so fun. I can't do it. I can't do it. I got to allow Brook Lopez to do his thing, roam that paint, painted area. But like we have Spencer Dinwiddie, who's pretty good. We got Kyle Anderson. Are these both one-year players? Please be on the contract for more than one, one season. Three C's. Okay, so we'll probably trade Cal Anderson because we also have to re-sign Anthony Davis this season, and it's not enough money to go around. So we'll trade Kyle. It's not a trade out there worth doing. Let's let me just do the math right now and see if we're over. I think we are, but let me double check. With this current lineup, we're at 32.8, and low-key, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that as long as we can still win games. That's not a good sign to lose the first game of the season, but that's okay because game number two is a big win. Demar tried to get Demar and Kawhi. I forgot about that. Tried to get their revenge, but nah. Steph, we traded all of that for you, bro. You bet. Oh, you better average more than foot. I'm giving you a pass because it's the first two games. But let's let's be real, Steph. That, okay, that's way better. Way better. Year two is done. Little more losses this year than last, but you got to remember the regression that my boys had. LeBron is all NBA second team, so that's great. Um. Uh, Kawhi, we traded away, 13. Kevin Durant, who we tried to trade for. Uh, we still look good. We still look good. Are we the one seed still? Yeah, we're absolutely still the one seed. Nobody's really messed with us. Three game difference between us and the 76ers who have Tatum, who won the MVP award. Um, let's see. The Hornets have Jaron and Lonzo. Hey, if you don't have like good experience on your roster, ain't afraid of it. You need a superstar player that's over the age of 30 for me to be worried. See, nobody over the age of 30. Not At least not no star. Not Zion. He ain't over 30 yet. Not worried. Okay, the Brooklyn Nets, they got uh, Jalen Brown and Carl Anthony Towns. They not old enough for me. Jacques Landale, shout out to him, bro. Shout out to him. But no. Are we going to get that Lakers matchup again? Oh, I want to I want to build a little rivalry here. Y'all better make it because we doing it easily. And so do y'all. The Paul George, but now Paolo. Oh, no, wait. Did we throw Paolo on a different trade? I don't remember. I don't remember. i am be honest with you. But Bradley Beal, Paul George, and, and Keldon Johnson. Who else did we give you? I don't I don't remember. But look at y'all. You know, rematch of last season. Can y'all take a game, please? Because I'm, I'm tired of just dominating y'all every season. It's not even no rivalry if you can't take no games off of us. Curry won another, <laughs> Curry won another um, MVP award. Finals MVP award. You saw Braun try to call it quits on the high note. We got one more. One more run, Braun. Last, the, this is the last dance, for real, for real. We got to bring Anthony Davis back. If we don't bring Anthony Davis back, then our chances of winning this championship uh, drop dramatically. But if we can bring AD back, bring back the same core, even though they're going to get worse, it might get a little bit tougher in year three. I think we can still do it. Anthony Davis, the cloudiest player, player option. That makes sense to me. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of money out there. And we could give you that, though, AD. Let's see. He's got 15 offers. Oh, don't you dare go to the Grizzlies. Don't you dare. I'm giving you a, t a player option and a no trade clause. Bro, don't you dare. Don't you. He didn't up the left. Oh, that's actually kind of insane. I'm going to try one more method to try to bring him back. This is this is a little, little sneaky, sneaky method for y'all that don't know. Because you can offer him a second contract. This time, I'm going to give him a player option and a no trade clause. And hopefully, that changes his opinions. And it does. Oh, that's how you finesse the system, baby. That's how you finesse the system. All right, so we're going to keep our guy around. Man, that scared me, bro. We keep him around, we win the championship. Because we give, just like how LeBron was giving him the keys in real life, we giving him the keys in, in game. This is your time to take over the organization. Um, we also only have a few players on the roster. But that's fine. Because these last couple people not even really going to play. As long as you're over 30, you can get a contract. 
but you're not really gonna play. Will Barton, come on to the team, man. Robert Covington, you feel like a player that we should have, even though I know you're gonna be like a 70 overall next season. And Boogie, you were great. Coach even tried to start you. Come on back. Yeah, we're sacrificing a lot of depth for that top of your talent to be as good as they are. So, who? Anthony Davis is regressing. Regressing? I mean, I guess. I guess. But look, Braun and Curry kind of stay stat. You love that. The, the bottom of our, our team is really, really bad. But as long as Braun and Curry are still playing at the levels that we know they can, who cares about... We got Braun, Curry, Jimmy, and AD. You're not beating that in the seven. Even if they old as dirt. You're not beating that in the seven. They still want to start Boogie. I'm still going to start Brook, even though the gap between them is not that much. All right. So this is potentially the last season. 60 wins on the year is great. Anybody from our Toronto Raptors, yes, Steph Curry averaged 29 and 9 because I gave him more minutes because I wanted somebody to be here. Same. Oh, Kay Cunningham and Shea together. Wow. But we got Braun and Curry making all of the trades that we made to get those two boys together worth it at the end of the day. I mean, it's going to be extremely worth it once we win this championship. The Heat are a team we got to respect. You know why? Because they got two players, James Harden and Kyrie Irving, who are old. And this video is all about the opposite of youth which is old uh second round we're going against the indiana pacers uh we kind of been dominant this entire run but they do have potentially the best player in the series lamello ball at a 96 overall can he subs uh two one them three one them oh snap brooke lopez is cold brooke come on brooke okay three one don't don't end it in in year three bro don't end it in year three this is the comeback this is the comeback we're at home it's one of the loudest crowds in basketball Let's just get this win, and then we go to the field house, and then we beat them there, then we come back home. That's It's a very simple recipe to win these games. LeBron and, yeah, LeBron and Steph. Can y'all start playing like LeBron and Steph? Also, Anthony, for a guy that's supposed to be the young dude of the group, you ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing. Come on. Here's that. Yep. Okay. I feel good about this one as well. We force a game seven. We're back at home. We, we just won that one by 40, y'all. We're a superior team by far. Even if we do got multiple players not doing nothing. Yeah, Brook Lopez has been kind of cooked for a while. Dang. No, Brook Lopez was really cooked this season. And I was starting him. 33% from the field from a big is crazy. It's cr Okay. This is the game seven. Win this, win it all. Win this, win it all. That's the mindset you got to have. And it's a close one. But think of my raps. Going in and getting the easy dub. All right. So they scared us a little bit. But not enough. And we go out there, we win that game, and win that series. Shout out to Steph Curry, really putting his team on his back. Next, we're going to get the seventh seed. Wow. They have Luka. They're a young team, though. Do we, like I said, man, y'all got to, y'all got to have a little hair on your chest for us to respect you. So, De'Aaron Fox and the OKC Thunder are here. Wow. De'Aaron's like carrying with Jared Allen, who was on this team once upon a time. The three-peat is wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't got no hope for the opposing team. We got one scare throughout the entire video, but we got that 3P. Oldest 3 P in NBA history. If you enjoyed the videos, always be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.